Okay guys, first let me apologise for not so many videos over the last uh, week or so. I had a lot of trouble with the piece of software I use. Uh, NCH is the software, video editing software. They're based in Australia and I guess they're really not very good at writing um, video editing packages. So, um, let, let's move on a little here and um, let me show you a couple of things. Excuse me, I have a, something in my eye. Um, you know I've been doing some polishing and hope, I don't know if you can see this or not, but look at that. That's what happens when you do the polishing. Great job though. All right, here I have now my second carburetor to rebuild. I'll do some of the rebuild um, on video, some of it I won't. I have various washers and seals here, and in all honesty, some of them, I don't know where they go. So what I'm doing is following best logic. Uh, what can I say? Uh, this, this particular washer, yeah, I don't need that. It's on this carburetor and I've already put it on from the kit. The kits come with more washers and seals than you really need. So, oh, do beg my pardon for sniffing so much. Let's get this on the bottom here. So, first we place this on, then we insert the diaphragm. Now I know this was covered in my previous video, but I like to do it just in case. And it's getting awfully hot in here and I've had to turn the fan off because obviously that would destroy the video. Then don't forget the spring, which actually comes in the kit. Then grabbing your thrusty, trusty float, actually give me one second here. Just gonna put this on here. It stops the float from falling off. See? Now, lining it up properly. Okay, that's good. And then insert the screws. We all like to insert screwing. Actually, we all like to screw. Whether you're a man or a woman, you like to screw. And if you don't, I'm sorry for you because screwing is wonderful no matter which side you are as long as it's done right okay here we go now some of this i'm sure you know is tedious and you're going to find boring in which case um too bad that's what i do and this is what my videos are like so as you recall from a previous video i just pinch these up <laughs> and I got, I got to tell you this, guys. In my previous video, when I did these exact same screws, the first screw I did up, there was a crack. That was my wrist. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's one of the joys of getting old. Things crack. Okay, it didn't happen this time, thankfully. And I'm doing a crisscross uh, as before. Okay, so that's nice and tight. And as the German says, good and tight. All right, now we need to get this on here. Uh, oh, I still need to replace this in here. So let me see if I can do that on camera. I'm not sure if I can, but I will certainly try. I've got to push that pin out, then I've got to replace it with a nice new pin and a nice new um, <laughs> flow control valve, whatever you want to call it. So let me go get some pliers, don't go away. Glad to see you're still here. All right, so now we need to get that pin out, and this is one method I find works. 
Just like that. Just like that. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And then pull that little fucker out. Not always easy, but there you go. That can join the pile of stuff. And we have this little beastie. Now we need to get this out of here. Um, this particular one is, uh, excuse me one second, is an 11.32nd. Cool. And we, ah, there she goes. All right. All right, so we unscrew this. Put that in the pile again. Get the nice new one. All shiny, cleany, weeny, shiny, cleany, weeny. And then we screw it in. And if you put some hair around it, it goes in a lot easier. All right. So let me see. Okay, there we go. And just pinch it up. Right, next we need to get this on here with the nice new pin. Really, probably not necessary in all honesty, but hey, they supplied it, so I'll use it. So now you slip the pin in through the hole, line up the fork, and it comes through. And there it is. Now I'm just going to pinch this up a little bit, not too much. I just want it to bite in there. Okay, that's bitten. All right, now the next thing you've got to do, which um, I believe they tell you, you grab yourself um, a bar, or really what you do grab is a drill bit. And this is a 7.32nd. And let me just double check that for you one minute. I want to make sure that I'm giving you the right number. So sit, beg, roll over, lay down. Don't go anywhere. Seven sixteenths. You see, I can't be trusted. It's a seven sixteenths. Another 7.32nd, it's a 7 sixteenths. What you need to do is you need to rest it in here and check that when you got it in there, that valve is resting on it. Now, if you pull it out and it drops, which mine really doesn't, that's pretty much set. 7 sixteenths. All right, so now this can actually go onto this. And at the moment, it doesn't matter. Oh, I've got the gasket to go on. Oh, and I hate to do this, but yeah. These gaskets must be made in fucking China. Mr. Berlin, I am very upset with you. These gaskets are... Pathetic. I, I could not get the one on my other carburetor. I could not get it on. This one's gone on a bit better. That just goes to show the quality of the. Okay, it is now being repaired. How good it will be, I don't know. I may need to buy some decent gaskets or make my own. We will see. I've calmed down a little bit now. I've eaten a baby. Get in my belly. <laughs> Thank you, Mike Myers love it all right so we have here the uh, slide and a nicely cleaned needle that needs to go in here come on stick it in the hole all right then we get our nicely polished top and obviously this is all going together dry you must make sure you fill this dash pot full of oil up to the bottom of the neck there where it shows you it should be. And if you don't know where, then look at the manual. There, that lines up beautifully. 
and be even better if I could get the screws. Okay, now as I told you before, I've changed these. I've put in stainless steel ones. Um, I like them. Yes, it's not correct for passing the old concours, but that is not the way I roll. I, I appreciate Conker's cars. I don't like trailer queens. These cars are meant to be driven. Trailer queens are just people with more money than sense. I have more sense than money. I wish I had more money than sense, but I don't. Now, you can see these screws are a little longer than they need to be, so that is something I will be addressing prior to final installation. Let's just get these in here, get these done. I'm not going to bother telling you um, what Allen key I'm using here because unless you use the same bolts as me it's kind of irrelevant and by the way I, I hope you're noticing the new haircut I even had a shower this morning cleaned my teeth why you may ask did I go to such drastic measures well today is my birthday I have actually reached the ripe old age of 69 I know it's hard to believe looking at this that I'm only that old or is it it's hard to believe that I'm really that old and not quite sure which I don't want to know from you so today August 11th 19 <laughs> there you go you see that's what happens when you get old August 11th 2020 must admit didn't know if I was going to make it this far. Kind of uh, a little bit of a wild child in my youth. All right, so what is next? Where is my top? Where is my brain? Oh, my top is setting, so I can't do anything on that. I can't do anything on that. Ah, bugger. Okay, ah, yes, let's uh, get this in. Now, as you know, I purchased the screw, uh, the screws, the springs from the local hardware store and i would suggest you do that it doesn't come in the kit big deal um then there is a washer there you must put that washer on otherwise the spring rubs up against the seal so now i'm going to put it in here and i'm going to screw it down now one thing to note is that when you put it in and uh, just <laughs> I can't fool you, can I? You saw I had already cut this one in here. <laughs> okay, I can fool myself. That's from the other cover. <laughs> when you screw this down, you pinch it up until it stops. Then you turn it back three and a half turns. So we go half one. Half, two, half, three, half. Funny, that's what they said to do and the bloody thing comes out in your hand. That ain't right. We're gonna do that again because that is just ridiculous. I think I need to refer to the manual as opposed to that instruction that I just read and that is the only reason I did it is because I've read it. Yeah, look. I'm just want to wonder whether or not, hey, maybe I didn't screw it up enough. Guys, that could be me. I'm talking out of my ass. Well, there's a first, huh? Okay, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm talking out of my ass. Yes, I'm talking out of my ass. Belay what I just said. Belay, oh sailor. Right, now it's actually bottomed out. Before, I hadn't done it right. No two words about it, I fucked up. However, that's why you watch my channel, because you want to see me fuck up. 
Right, so let's try again, shall we? Half, one, half, two, half, three, half. There it is, that's now set. Sorry I lied to you before, guys. I didn't push it in far enough. My wife complains about that a lot. Christ, it's all I got. What do you want me to do? Stick a broom handle up my ass? All right. <laughs> I shouldn't say these things, but I do. All right, so that's good now. That's ready to go. Um, I can't put that on. I can put this bolt in now. Now, here we need to attach this little baby and we need the relevant washers that go with it so let's see what we can buy i got a selection of washers here and i look at some of them and go what the fuck so let's see we're gonna have to do this bit of trial and error here mm, nope that doesn't want to play the game so what bothers me is these are way too big. Yeah, look at them, that's, that's just plain stupid. So it's gotta be these washers. However, these washers don't fit. This really is extremely frustrating. So, let's try this. Now that nice aluminium washer fits. So what I'm going to assume, and you know what they say about assume, as of you and me, is that I put aluminum washer on both sides and screw this in. Now, yes, I could look at the manual, but where's the fun in that? There we go. Oh dear, excuse me guys. Wow. Sweating like a pig because I had to turn the fan off just to film for you. You do realize I'm suffering for you. I am suffering, I'm sweating just for you guys. I do hope you appreciate that. Right, now I'm not gonna tighten that up because it's it has to go in a certain position. However, it's pretty much these gaskets and it's, um. It's very disappointing, I must admit, I'm, I'm extremely disappointed with this Berlin fuel system kit. And Mr. Berlin, if you're watching, which I very much fucking doubt, um, you need to stop farming out to cheap nations such as China, Mexico, wherever. Yeah, look, there you go. Look at that. I'm trying to get it on there and the fucking thing breaks. What a piece of shit. Really. So now I'm going to have to do what I did on the other side, is I'm going to have to hold it down and put some super glue on it so that I get some kind of seal. Berlin, for fuck's sake, sort out your crap. All right, guys, I'm going to stop the video here whilst I repair this, and then I'll come back. I'm sorry. I'm a fucking angry bunny. Yeah, that's Pretty much it, and I don't think there's much more I can do. I do have this to put on. Hang on one second. Ah, now I've got to find out which way around this goes, because if I put this on the wrong way, yeah, it's, it's, it's got to go on that way. There, there's no two ways about it, because the spring hooks onto that. All right, so now this will reside on here. And then, uh, this carb is in the way for me doing my other stuff, so what I'm going to do is backtrack and take this off. Sorry about that, guys. No two ways about it. It's got to come off. We'll put it to one side so that I can see the linkage I need to install. And this is the linkage here. So what we need to do now is get this linkage all installed here now this is going to be fun because that goes in there and I'm sorry you can't see this 
Sorry, why do I care? <laughs> I can see it. Do you know what? I hate to say this, but I may have to join the carburetors together and then put them both on there at the same time. In fact, there's no two ways about it. That's what I've got to do because it's just not going to work, is it? Or is it? Hang on. Watch me sweat and struggle for a little bit. Yeah, I really don't see that going on. Nope. All right. There you go. There's a note for you. Get the carburetors together, then put them onto the manifold. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it off camera because you don't need really to see that. And then we'll put on the starter carburetor. So we're getting there. It's a slow but sure process. I'm sure you guys understand that. And if you don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> and as always, guys, like, subscribe, ding the bell. Tell your friends, tell your mum. Get them to subscribe to my channel. I've told you before, as long as you don't object to the word fuck, it's okay. Um, I'm going to put this back on. Then I'm going to show you me putting this on because I want to. And then that is pretty much going to be it. So we're close to the end of which I'm sure you're grateful. Time for me to reach up to you and turn you off for a moment. The final episode in the carburetor saga. Not sure if I mentioned it in a previous video. When you're putting this needle in, there is a shoulder on the needle. That must be level with the bottom here. So you have to slide it in and then tighten up the screw. So you've got to make sure that that's level. And then slide it in here. And as you will remember, the other item is level in here. Grab your little spring poo, slide this in, line it all up, and get screwing. Now, um, I mentioned it before, <laughs> no, well, maybe I didn't actually. This fuel line that feeds the carburetors, I looked at that and thought, how the hell does that go on there? Well, I figured it out. This is the way it goes down underneath because obviously the original um, air filter will go over there but that's not what i'm having on mine and then this pipe connects to the um, fuel filter that is on the wing in the inner wing okay so let me just get these screws in here and then i'll give you a final tour of la cabaretteur. <laughs> okay. Just doing up my little screws. And I think I mentioned it before again that uh, there's not much point in me telling you the size of this Allen screw because these are not the originals, these just happen to be the size that I've chosen and the type that I've chosen for my carburetor. Mm -hmm. Just pinch them down nicely. There we go. And just pinch it up. So what is it? Don't go nowhere. Alright. Looking good to go. I'm good to go right so we have our nice new overflow pipes now when I get this on the vehicle I may bring these two pipes in you know by putting bends in them to bring them in here I'm not sure yet I'm gonna to have to see where and what it is that they point at when they're on the on the car I can't remember to be honest um, so we're all done now we have uh, let's see I think I mentioned it before the old fiber washers on this and aluminum washers there um, and these nice screws, nice washers here, uh, the float bowl washers, uh, seals, whatever you want to call them, 
you go on the top there both of them broke when I put them on um, a bad design by Berlin they're just too small probably made by China again I think I've mentioned that before as you can probably tell I'm not one of my favorite countries at the moment with what they've done to us so there she is everything is now assembled I might just um, rest it on the engine block just to take a few photographs uh, but that will be it then I will take these pipes off um, wrap it all up put it in the closet ready for installation I did end up with a few spare washers over here um, and I believe I believe uh, they are because the kit you know it's only got one of these on it and I think each kit gives you those just in case you need them and a few other washers and a couple of uh, aluminium spacers I would want to say but again don't know where they belong and uh, one spare washer there I'm not sure where that belongs so there you go those will just go in my supply and if ever I ever need them I got them right finally that is it guys now um, you've suffered long enough uh, do the usual please like subscribe ding the bell tell your friends tell your mum tell your dad tell your brother your sister your wife your girlfriend whatever um, and uh, any questions please feel free to email me at gstargarage at gmail.com that's g-s-t-a-r-r -R at g-m-a-i-l dot c-o-m good night and see you on the next video not sure what it'll be